How's it going, everybody? This is Brian Funk, aka Afro DJ Mac. I'm the author of Warp Academy's Ableton Push 2 Jumpstart video course. Today, I've got a video about some of the new upgrades in Ableton Push 2 with Live 9.7. That's going to include the visual upgrades to the display on Push, as well as how we can change the colors of certain parts of Ableton Live's visual user interface. So here we go, let's get to the video. We now have the ability to color certain aspects of Ableton Live's user interface directly from Push. This is extremely useful for organizing our tracks visually. First, we can color our tracks. If we hold down the Shift key and select a track, we can then choose from the different colors that Live has to offer. And we can see now that my pads have changed colors, as has the readout on my device view on Push. It's important to note that this feature has changed the way mute lock functions on push. If we hold down the mute button, we now have mute lock enabled. This allows us to mute tracks by pressing the track activator button. If we would like to select a track without muting it, we're going to have to hold the select button and press the activator. If we do not hold the select button, pressing a track activator will mute that track. We can also change the colors of our clips and push. I'm going to hold down shift and just select a clip. And we can change the colors just by selecting our different colors. This makes it much easier to see what's going on inside of session view. We can also change the colors of drum rack pads. This is great for organizing our samples within our drum rack. And again, the process is the same. We hold down shift and select the pad, and then just select the color to change that pad to that color. And now, as we can see, our drum rack has changed colors, and the corresponding notes have also changed to match that pad. Push now allows us a visual indication to see the clip phase of each clip. This allows us to understand how far into the loop our clip is as it's playing. To demonstrate this, I'm going to launch a scene of clips. And just below the track title, we can see these little bars moving along to indicate where in our loop our clip playback position is. This is very handy for keeping track of where everything is inside of Live. In order to make recording easier, Push now gives us a visual display of our count-in. We'll see a bar move across the very top of our display as the count-in moves along. So let me set up a count-in. I'm going to set it for two bars. And when I press record, we'll see a meter move across the top of our display. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you click on the link below to check out some more free videos from my Ableton Push 2 Jumpstart video course, and head on over to Warp Academy for a lot of great tutorials and excellent video courses that you can use to level up your production game. Have a great day.